Good morning guys, welcome to class. Um, in today's session it's going to be a reading session again and we're going to have a look at an article, a bit controversial, about um, yeah, an airline which is now going to charge you uh, for the ticket based on how much you weigh. So it's not going to be a fixed amount, um, it's going to be, uh, they're, they're basically going to weigh you at the airport and see how much you weigh and then they're going to charge you for the ticket accordingly, yeah? So the fatter you are, the more money you pay, yeah? See, it seems quite um, straightforward. <laughs> so Tesla's already saying uh, he or she, I think it's she, is going to start the diet. Yeah, I think it's a, I, I think that's okay, yeah? So, um, okay, let's have a look at this. I'm going to send you the article before um, so that you can open this hat and get an idea. Then together we're going to read it and discuss, yeah? So hopefully it'll be quite, quite interesting. We'll see. Um, so in the meantime, who have we got? We have um, Thiago, Carlos, Edma. Okay, I'd be paying so little, Vivian, yeah? So you're saying I'd be paying so little. Wait for me, Martin. Fly, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you guys. Um, uh, Thiago, hi. Nice, to, uh, nice that you're here. Carlos, again, to you too. Edma Ross Roxette. Can't say your name. Hopefully you can join correct me. Kazem Ahmed. Okay, there's lots of people here. Good, 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 good. Okay, I don't know how long you've got left before you can join, but I hope it's very, very busy. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Lend it is laughing, yeah? Lend it. I don't know, yeah? So, yeah, we'll see how much we'll have to pay. We won't discuss our weight, but we'll see how much if we would have to pay and if it would benefit us or not. Okay, it's almost time, I think. It's almost lift off. Or take off because it's about planes. Okay, yes, just realized how selfish it sounds, haha, <laughs> but come on. <laughs> morning, buddy, morning, buddy. In what part? Okay, so I, I um, am not living in the UK at the moment. I'm from the UK, I'm from the south, from a small town. If you want to Google it, it's very, very small. I have called Petersfield. But we have Abdul. Yes, sir, how are you? I'm good. Nice to speak with you again. How are you? Good, good. Nice to speak to you again, too. Cool. Okay, so Abdul is from, for those who don't know Abdul, and I struggle to believe that no one knows Abdul now, he's from where, Abdul? California. Perfect. And we've got Ahmed. How are you? I can't hear you just now. Just check, just check your microphone settings. We'll come back to you, okay? Buddy. Oh, this is, this is, this is, okay. I was going to say the, the background is boring hey, today, buddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. How are you? I can hear you. Uh, hmm. I'm pretty good. Uh, I have some internet problems, sorry. No worries. I so, saw that you weren't in the hammer. Morning, by the way. Is it, what time is it no, there? No, I am in my own house. What time Here is it there? It's 1 a.m. Oh, too, too early. Igor, Igor, how are you? Hi, I'm doing well. How about you? Not too bad, not too bad. By the way, uh, Buddy, I was going to say it's 8 o'clock here, and for me it feels too early, yeah? So I don't know what it's like at 1 a.m. Wow, okay, hey, so, um, Igor, yeah, okay, so we've spoken before several, several times. Igor is from? Moldova. And Buddy is from? Colombia, Colombia, and Ahmed is from Egypt. Perfect, cool, cool, cool. And Martin is from UK. Okay, and Mehmet is from Hi, Mehmet. Nice to speak with you. Okay, we'll come back to you. We have Nukmal as well. How are you, Nukmal? Uh, hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Good to speak to you. That was Mehmet, yeah. Yes. Okay, good to speak to you. Is this the first time I've spoken to you? I've spoken to someone else called Mehmet, but I'm not sure. Yes, uh, we talk before. Okay, I, I joined your lesson once. Okay, it is uh, about uh, the weekends activities. At the weekend okay. activities. Okay, we yeah, okay, that, that's cool. Because I remembered the first name, I couldn't remember the last name though. But that's 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 cool. Nukmal, how are you? 
Um, I can't hear you. So <coughs> just check, just check your uh, mic settings. Not yet, not yet. Okay, we'll come back. Uh, and Raphael, how is Brazil today? Hello. <laughs> fine, very fine. And you, Martin? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Hello. Um, yep. Yeah, now we can hear. You. Now we can hear. You. Okay. How are you, Martin? I'm good. Thanks. Miss how are you? you? I'm doing well. What about you? Perfect. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, okay. We, we also have Tagreed. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Great. Okay. So, Vivian. Um. Okay. We. I think we've spoken before as well, Tagreed. I think we spoke yesterday. Is that true? Yes. Yes. Teacher. Great. Okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um. Um. Uh, Vivian. Uh. Made a comment. No girls in this class. Okay, we have tag read. Yeah, so we'll see if this uh, affects the responses and things. But that's that's cool. Okay, so did everyone see the article I sent you? Yes, yes. sir. Okay, great. In that case, I'm going to send you the, uh, my. Um, I'm going to share my screen as well, so people who who are watching can see this. We're going to read this and discuss. Yeah. So did everyone understand the point? First of all, did yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who's that buddy? Um, who said they understood? Yes, I understand. Okay, Igor, could you tell us? The theory? That uh, some passengers that wait uh, more than our passengers that are overweight, that are uh, too, that are fat, will be charged. Uh, um, how to say? Charge it uh, according to the, their kilograms. Yeah. So, yes. uh, for example, you go to um, if you go to the check-in desk. Um, usually, they weigh your bag. They tell you how much your bag weighs. If, for example, it's twenty-five kilos, that's okay. If it's twenty-six kilos, you pay extra for the kilo. Uh, in okay, let's read the story first. Yeah, let's not. Uh, summarize, otherwise, yeah, that will defeat the point. Okay, but um, I'll, okay. Get someone to, uh, I'll get Abdul to read the first bit. One sec. Abdul, <coughs> could you read the first, uh, the title and the paragraph, uh, the first two paragraphs, please? Sure. Okay. Uh, Sonoma Air Bus Defend Charging Passenger by Weight. The head of Sonoma uh, Samoa Air uh, has defended the airline's decision to start charging passenger according to their weight. Chris Bankton told Australia's ABC Radio that it was the f uh, fairest way of traveling. Okay. To Do you want me to continue? Uh, in fact, yes, yeah, so that was quite short. Yeah, so read maybe the next one. Okay. As well. Rather than pay for a seat, passengers pay a fixed price per kilogram, which varies depending on the route length. Okay, let's uh, talk first. Okay, to defend something, what does this mean? So. So how much do you wait, sir? Me? Oh God, I've got to check. Yes, yeah? so maybe <laughs> not so much actually. Yeah, maybe sixty-two or something. No, in uh, in pounds. I uh, I don't know pounds. We uh, I've got because usually in the UK we do stones. Yeah, but here I've only because I'm living in Germany they only do kilograms, so I only do kilograms. So I, in stone I don't know. Is that nine, eight stone, nine stone, something like that? Maybe I'm not sure. In pounds, I don't know, because in the UK we use stones, uh, but in the rest of the world they use kilograms and stuff. Yeah, yeah. One, yeah exactly. One kg is equal to 1.6 pounds, so that's going to be probably like uh, 140 plus, I think. Okay, I'm not sure about the pounds and stuff. Yeah, so which is good. I mean, which is good for you. I mean, that fear will benefit you. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, no, that's good. Okay, so uh, Vivian says 44 kilos. In that case, she's going to pay nothing. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, we won't ask each other's weight so much. Just they yes. will pay uh, to Vivian money. Yeah, they're going to be like, yeah, Vivian, come on. Okay, so to defend something very, very quickly, yeah? So uh, what does this mean? Sheikin, we also have um, you in the, in the chat. Are you here? Yeah. Okay, nice to speak with you. Yeah, nice to, to speak to you too. Perfect. Okay, so uh, we've spoken before. I remember your face. Um, did you follow what we were d talking about just now? 
Sorry, can you repeat it again? Did you um, follow what we were talking about just now? Yeah, yeah, I'm following you. Okay, you followed. Yeah, great. Okay, so uh, we were talking about basically there's an airline. In fact, Nukma, could you summarize really, really quickly? Here is what I understood. I mean, the airlines are going to change their 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 charge for luggage per kilogram. Okay, so they're going to now charge you. Well, this this airline, not a fixed ticket price, not a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars. They're going to charge you per kilogram. So the more you weigh, the more you pay. <laughs> Actually, that's quite a good slogan, isn't it? Yeah. The more you weigh, the more you pay. Okay, so, um, Sheikin, your first thoughts about this, what do you think? Okay, we'll come back, we'll come back to you. Um, Tesla, we've also got you in the, in the chat. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Cool, nice How are to you? meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, too. I'm good, thank you. And where are you from? Honduras. Honduras, cool. Okay, so um, did you understand? Yes. Okay, what do you think of this? Um, I think it's, uh, well, a bit weird because some distances are like a lot more pricey than others. So if you go and just pay about... Um, the number of your weight is like too cheap, so they'll the company will suddenly. I think they'll broke up. That's how you say it. If you think it will break up, did you say? Yeah, something like that. As in it fail. Will not yeah? work. So you don't think yes. it will work. The model will work. The thing is, I've I've often been in the queue waiting to go on a plane or waiting for check-in, putting my luggage. It's been maybe a, a few a kilograms over that maybe. A kilogram or, or a kilogram and a half over, and then before me is this really, really, really obese man or whatever, um, and he's got the exact amount. But yeah, you think, oh come on, you know, <laughs> just that one kilo is it really that important, you know? So yeah, I don't know. Some sometimes um, I don't know if it's uh, an issue that pros yeah that it would work actually, but then it is discrimination maybe. Yeah, so um, there's I all think sorts. So. The big benefit uh, of this fare will be for a family guy, you know, the guy traveling with two or three children. So, I mean, it will benefit him a lot, you know, because children wait, you know, like we all know from, I mean, very, I mean, 15 to 20, 25, 30 kg, you know, so I mean, it will, I think, benefit the family guy, you know, a lot. Yeah, the, the thing is, yeah, why should it, okay, there's different rates anyway for, for children, but still, a child doesn't weigh that much, you know, so why should they? Pay. Um, why should you pay for that? Um, okay, so that's, that's quite an interesting idea. We'll read on and we'll, we'll talk about the words first, and then, then discuss it in more detail. Uh, but to defend something, what does that mean? To contest. To. Yeah. yeah one. To defend something like when you. When, to withstand. You... To argue in favor of. To something. resist. To basically say. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, your your defense is, for example, your argument. Yeah, so yes. they're arguing in their case. Yeah, so yes. they're saying actually it's fair. You know, we've made this decision, but they're going to argue about it. Yeah, it's fair because blah, 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 blah. that's their defense. Yes. Yeah, to stand firm on your point of view. Like I said, this I'm not going to back out. I'm going to defend my point of view. Yep. I back what I say. Yeah, I trust my opinion. That's that's what that means. Perfect. Okay. So uh, the next one. According to their weight, yeah. So according to, following, depends on, by, depends based on. on, based on. That's that's the best. Depends on. Yeah, uh, depending on their weight or based yeah. on their weight. The more, mm -hmm. more, the less you weigh, the less you pay. Yeah, yeah that, that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, traveling from which varies. Yeah, varies depending on. Yes, you know varies. Varies. Do you know this? Been many oh, different things. Sorry. Varies. I mean, which will, which will depend on you know like uh, 
the length of the trip, you know, it, it will varies on the length of the trip. If the length of the trip is like short, so the price of the per kg will be less. But if the length of the trip is long, so the price per kg will be more. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so uh, the f yeah, So basically, this it's a fixed rate per kilogram, depending on the length. It varies on the length. So, for example, I don't know if it's if you're going from a, a this this airline is very small, I think. But if you're going from America to uh, I don't know Paris, um, then this will be this rate, maybe I don't know five dollars per kilogram or ten dollars, whatever. Uh, but if you're going um, from I don't know New York to California, then it will be a lower rate, yeah, accordingly. So that's how. Uh, so you can calculate your ticket price um, at home, I guess. Uh, but okay, so I think the rest of it was quite quite clear. Um, domestically, it flies domestically. Domestic In country. In domestically, country. Mean locally. Local. Yeah. Local at home. Uh, f domestic, for example, they, there's other ways. So domestic violence, uh, domestic chores, things like that. That's at home, yeah? So domestic, domestic violence pet. is violence. Sorry? <coughs> Sorry? Okay, uh, before we just welcome Usama. Yeah. How are you, Usama? Hey, welcome everybody. <laughs> cool. Okay, welcome too. We saw you commenting in the boxes, yeah? So, uh, in, the, yeah. in the chat box. Well, so okay. I, I was waiting till uh, some places uh, it's free to get in the... Uh... No worries. Okay, so welcome, and what do you think? Usama? <laughs> okay, we'll come back. Okay, so uh, anyone else has sneaked in? I think not, yeah? So... I think not. Okay, so uh, domestic, yeah, at, it just means at home locally. So domestic violence, for example, is violence that takes place at your at home, yeah, between the man and the wife or whatever. And this um, context is the meaning of that in country. In the country, so still kind of like at home, yeah, local. Exactly. Okay, so domestic, um, and the opposite is like international routes and stuff. Um, it is thought the move could encourage other airlines to introduce similar policies. Okay, I think the rest is quite quite clear. Let's read the next bit, okay? So, unless you have any questions. If you have questions, ask. If not, we'll continue. Uh, Sam, how are you, Sam? Hi, everyone, how are you? Uh, nice to speak with you again. How are you, Sam? All right, I'm good, and you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. For those who don't know, his profile name is Achelios, but his name is Sam, okay? So don't get confused. Okay, so um, Sam, did you follow? Um, yes. And what do you think? Uh, about his policy? Yep. I think it's quite fair because, I, I, I think it's quite fair because, you know, have you ever um, have you ever experienced like kind of like when you are, when you are on board? Have you ever sit next to those who are you know very like kind of like a big guy like kind of like that? Have you ever? Uh, yeah, on a log flight. <laughs> well, to to yeah, America. you know, like yeah, it's like you have only. What's your point here? I just want to say that like we actually we have. Uh, each of us have one seat equally, right? You got one seat, I got one seat. But if you sit next to those who are very, you know, who have a lot of weight, then he or she uh, always, um, like, what can I say? His or her hand might come into your place. Then it makes you like you have only have a seat left. Not one seat. Do you, okay, do so you understand what I mean? The, yeah, the main point. Okay, we don't we don't discriminate. Yeah, we we won't discriminate. But um, I've had this experience. Yeah, so flying to America, uh, yeah. there was a very very not an overweight man. That's different. Yeah, but really 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 quite obese um, person. And <laughs> actually, um, went kind of in my space. Yeah, because um, it, it, yeah, and that, that's the thing. That's a problem. You don't want to. Okay, yeah. you don't want to discriminate. You don't want. But when it makes you uncomfortable in things and you're thinking, okay, we well, yeah. pay the same ticket and you're squashed. You feel, 
Yeah, you feel like okay, that's you another are, argument. You are yes. you're in, yeah. Okay, you are, so you are uncomfortable in your at your place. It's very uncomfortable. Okay, so let's discuss that, that in a minute, that, that, that idea, but before we do that, okay, would you like to go on, Sam, would you like to um, read, read the next bit? I think we got to, um, I think airlines don't run on seats. All right. Airlines don't run on seats, they run on weight, and particularly, the smaller the aircraft you are, in the less variance, you can accept the terms of the difference in weight between passengers. Mr. Langton told ABC Radio, anyone who travel at times has felt they have been paying for half of the passenger next to them. Under the new model, Mr. Langton described how some families with children were now paying cheaper fares. Okay, let's, let's call it. Um, stop there. Um, airlines don't run on seats, they run on weight. What does that mean? They will charge on weight, but not on seat. Um, yeah, they're not talking about um, just this airline. They're talking about basically uh, the airline works it out its costs and works out its prices anyway based on the weight. Because the more weight there is in the plane, the more fuel they have to buy. Yeah, so they calculate the ticket yeah. price based on kind of an average person how much they weigh. Yeah. Um, so they run on weight. So basically. Um, it doesn't matter how many seats they sell, it's basically ultimately how, how much the aircraft weighs because that it will determine how much fuel is consumed, how much fuel is used, yeah? Was that clear? Yes, yeah. yeah. Say, say Cons no, it's consumption, not, yeah? consumption of fuel depends not on seats, how many seats, uh, uh, how many yeah, passengers, but on, on the weight. weight, but depends on weight uh, of uh, yeah. that passengers. So they're basically. I mean, no, the total weight. Yeah. Yeah, the total weight. So it doesn't matter if there's 300 seats or 100 seats. Ultimately, it's how much weight is in that plane anyway. So the current model is based on weight. They're just not charging by weight. Yeah, they're just guessing how much we all weigh to work out how much we should pay. Yeah, everyone should pay. Um, and particularly the smaller the aircraft you are in, the less you are in, the less variant variance you can accept in terms of. Okay, so particularly, what does this mean, particularly? I mean Most specifically. Similar. Specifically, yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah that's, a, that's a, a good synonym. So particularly the smaller the aircraft you're in, the less variance you can accept in terms of the difference in weight between passengers. Can someone translate that into other words? Uh, like, uh, you mean if anyone can explain these words? Uh, yes, please, yep. Uh, where is that paragraph? Mm. Particularly, the smarter the aircraft you are in the, in, the, in, in the less variance you can accept in terms of the difference in weight between passengers. Like, if the aircraft, like if the aircraft uh, size is uh, smaller, so uh, you are in the less variance you can accept in terms of in terms of the difference in weight between passenger. So I mean uh, the the variance you know like uh, the, uh, in, you're to accept in terms the difference in the weight uh, of the passengers you know. Your decision, you know, like if your aircraft is small, so it, it it will affect your decision about the passenger weight. I think. Yeah, the smaller the aircraft, the bigger impact a difference in weight has. Yeah. For example, an extra ten kilos won't. Uh, yeah, on a really big, you know, Dreamliner thing won't make a difference. But extra ten kilos on a small aircraft would make a difference. Yeah, more more so. Um, okay, uh, very, I'm sure there should be a comma there, yeah? So I would definitely put a comma there. The, the smaller the aircraft you're in, comma, the less variance you can accept, but I'm not going to argue with this. <laughs> okay, so uh, variance, what does this mean? So variance, it's a bit like vary. Yeah, so vary. Vary, yeah? So uh, the, the less uh, of a difference you can accept, the less variance, the less of a difference. I would, I would say for this one. Uh, weight between passengers, yeah, the rest is clear. Uh, anyone who travels at the time has felt at times has felt they have been paying for half of the passenger next to them. 
Yeah, we, we'll talk about this in a minute. Um, in fact, I think, to be honest, in terms of content, this article is very, very straightforward. But who would like to read next? Uh, who would like to read next? I Is can read. Uh, uh, yeah, please. Uh, Anyone who travels. Oh, we already read this one. Yep. I think we've done, we done this paragraph. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. We have to start it. There are no Acer fees. Yep. Uh, can I? Yes, please, Rafael. Under the new model, Mr. Langton wait, wait. described how some families with children were, were now paying cheaper fares. There are no extra fees in terms of excess baggage or anything. It is just a kilo is a kilo is a kilo, he said. Air Samoa's rates range for, from $1.00 65 pounds, okay, to around four twenty-six dollars per kilogram. Passengers pay for the combined wage of themselves and their baggage. Mr. Langton also suggested that the move had helped promote health awareness in Samoa, which has one of the world's highest levels of obesity. Okay, stop. Okay, so what did you understand in this this section? So, um, yeah, uh, is like he said, like right now. I mean, if I want to travel, you know, so let's say if if the specific you know airline company allow me to, I mean that I can take twenty five kg, uh, you know, with uh, uh, so I mean if I have like you like you said in. Earlier, that if I have 26 or 27, so I have to pay uh, one or two kilos, you know. But like right now, I mean, they are going to charge by kilos, so I mean, every everything you know uh, will be charged by kilos. So I mean, you will pay for each and every, you know, like uh, everything, like whatever your weight is, you will pay by the weight. So logistically, yeah, can you imagine how this works? So you go to the check-in desk. I'm just imagining this, and they basically you say put your bag on now jump on as well, yeah. So you've got to stand on the exactly. thing where you put the bags on to wait, and then they work out the. And I think it is fair, yeah, because you know even if you are slightly bigger or whatever, you can you still don't have to pay so much if you take less, yeah. So it's not like they're saying, okay, um, yeah, I don't know. I think maybe it's although you know before your your holiday you're gonna try to lose weight, yeah. So you're trying to maybe not eat for two weeks or I don't know. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I, I cannot challenge, you know, their, uh, like they said that it will promote, you know, the uh, health awareness. I mean, I cannot challenge that. This, this is right. I mean, it, it will promote health awareness. But like, is it fair or not? It will be only fair if it drop down the, uh, the, the airline fares. You know, it will be only fair if it increase the airline fares. So I mean, then it's. It would be not fair. It would be only fair if it decreased the prices. What's your point? The price is like right now. I mean, if you if you are uh, 64, 65 kg and you want to travel from point A to point B and your ticket is hundred dollar and after they start, I mean, uh, charging you as a per kg and for the same trip from A from point A to point B. You pay hundred and ten dollars, so it's okay. yeah. It's like I mean, yeah. it's like pick and mix. I don't know if you have this in your countries, but um, it's a very popular thing in the UK for for children. Um, sweets, yeah. So to buy sweets per hundred grams, or to buy a bag of sweets already prepared. If you if you buy the bag of sweets already prepared, it's a lot cheaper than if you pay by weight. You know, so I guess it's this this kind of model, yeah. But um, so you're saying it would only be fair if actually um, some people pay less than they do now and some people pay more. It wouldn't make sense if everyone paid more, yeah. So that wouldn't be fair. Um, so yeah, I don't know, but yeah, I mean, there's lots of different th factors about what makes you weigh the way you do, yeah. And some of it is, you know, na natural. You know, some people have, um, I don't know, yeah. So different different issues. Uh, so is this really really fair? You know, that they they say basically, okay, you weigh this much, you pay this; you weigh this much, you pay that. Okay, so we're going to discuss this. Um, in a minute, but we've got someone else who's joined us. No, we haven't. We can just see him now. Uh, who else? Has anyone joined? 
Okay. No. Okay, no one has joined. So, uh, now we'll check up on your opinions. So, Teg Reed, what do you think so far? Now we've, we've read a bit more. About this, uh, to read or uh, to tell me my opinion, to tell you my opinion. Sorry? What do you want me to say? What is um, your have question? You got any, no, now we've read a bit more, do you, have you got anything else to add to your opinion? Yeah, the same. I am. I find all this is very strange to buy according to your weight. That is very strange. Okay. Yeah. So you you wouldn't you wouldn't do it, Raphael. Hello. I think that is a fair and rational decision, but have another side. Uh, uh, we are not like uh, bags, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and everyone deserves to be treated like like the same, but uh, the money speak louder. And I think that the government have to do something about this, because uh, the the uh, companies just think about money. And uh, some people have problems, uh, health problems with a uh, wage, and wage. they genetic things, you know. And no one uh, choose, uh, no one's choose born with this kind of genetic thing that will uh, make you fat in some yeah. cases. Or even on the opposite. Have this, really have this side. But, yeah, it's a rational thing. We live in a uh, capitalist world. And, I don't, you know, I think it's fair. If we could calculate... You mean capitalist? Yes. Yeah, he said, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's capitalism, I guess, yeah? So, I don't know if yeah. that, that plays a fact. We are all, um, we are all agents to make money to produce, to thing yeah so uh, we are um, a part of the system and yeah and that's probably uh, just an extension of this okay so Usama what do you think <coughs> well uh, hi, hi again I'm sorry for the last time it, uh, mm -hmm. I lost connection so I guess uh, all right I mean we can't judge people uh, on their weight and make them pay more because uh, simply they wait more I mean it's it's a bad thing. It's a bad habit to get to it in uh, how I say this in purpose. But people who are uh, sick and who have uh, genetics ge genes that uh, you know that uh, make them like that. I mean, they shouldn't uh, be treated like this. So I guess it's. Uh, so, <laughs> at the check-in desk, they say, right, is, are you genetically, yeah, disadvantaged? F question. Rather than saying, um, did you pack your bag yourself? They will ask you questions like, um, are you genetically disadvantaged? Yeah, um, do you have this? Okay, so you're saying there should be a distinction, yeah, but logistically, yes. how would this work? Well, people who, who are sick, they should bring that with them a medical certificate. <laughs> okay. So they shouldn't be treated like that. <laughs> Okay, so that's, a, that's an interesting point, that's interesting. Lukman, what do you add to this? Do you think this should be so, uh, that people who maybe are their, their weight because of some genetics or because of a natural, um, I don't know, problem or, or whatever, do you think um, they should be in a different category? Yeah, I think so, because, I mean, it's not fair for them. I mean, why they have to pay lot for uh, uh, SDR weight or I mean they are overweight I mean it's not fair at all I mean it will be I think the airline's main point is to make money here I mean they don't really intend to promote healthy awareness so yeah of course yes yeah. so it's a, ultimately it's a, it's, a so it's not fair for the overweight uh, yeah sadistic but this kind of prejudice already exists yeah, to a certain extent. For example, if you go to a theme park, they say, oh, people who are shorter than this line cannot go on the ride. 
Yeah, so um, there's already prejudice out there, I guess, yeah, but um, I don't know, what Nukman, have you seen this, yeah? So if you go to a theme park with rides and things, roller coasters, um, they often say, okay, if you're shorter than this line, you mm -hmm. cannot go on the ride, yeah? So is this also wrong? No, I think this this one is there are some uh, safety measurement. I mean, there are for safety precaution. I mean, if like a child, they they ride a roller coaster. I mean, maybe they will uh, get off of their roller coaster. <laughs> if I mean, it's not safe for the kids. So there are some I mean safety precaution for that reason. But not necessarily children. People who are born and they're just short. Yes. Yeah? So for, for whatever. Yes. Yeah? So dwarfism. <laughs> okay. Is it a problem? Uh -huh. For example, should the air uh, company design rides that are suitable for these people as well, you know? There's yeah, I think. Now, I <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so they can enjoy the, you know, the children rides, <laughs> like Ferrisville and yeah. so on, okay, but okay. the roller coaster. <laughs> okay, you say this is good on the children's rides. Okay, so Mehmet, what would you say? Yeah, uh, we must uh, look uh, two points of view. Uh, one point uh, is uh, from the point of customers. If I travel by plane too often and uh, my weight is 95 kilograms, I don't prefer uh, that firm who is uh, charging the airline tickets with the weight of my. Uh, I didn't prefer to fly with that firm, and uh, it's not fair, I think. Okay, but, so you, uh, would you travel with uh, this airline? Another point is uh, it forced the people uh, to over, uh, not to overweight. Uh, to lose weight, to lose weight, to or lose to be weight. underweight. Yes. Yeah. After 30 years old, uh, the pleasure that uh, I enjoy uh, is eating. Every five years, I get five kilograms, and uh, now I am 95 years old. I am not happy with this, but it is not easy to lose weight, I think. Okay, so it's inflation, yeah? As, as we, get, we get older or whatever, yeah, so it's just inflation. Every year you have to pay more money, yes? So, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Um, yeah, yeah, what, that's the point. Yeah, save for it. <laughs> but as you as you get older, maybe you get richer as well. Yes, maybe that's okay. Uh, when you start off young, small, then as you get older, maybe I don't know, you get more money, whatever. But I, I don't know. That's a very interesting interesting point. But I don't know what air travel is like in your in your countries. I think in America it's very very cheap. With like, is it South America? No, what's the airline? So, there's a really cheap airline in America, isn't there? South South. What's it called? Southwest. Um, Southwest Airlines, things like this. In Europe, it's very cheap as well. Yes, yeah? so I'm flying um, this month. For, I, I booked 20 days in advance from Germany to uh, Spain, 50 euros return. So, um, and to go to home to London or, or whatever, it sometimes costs 30 euros. So tickets are already ready, ready cheap. Um, I don't know what it's like in your countries, but um, do you think it will make much of a difference, Abdul, with, for example, but, Southwest Airlines? But see, but look, you know, <clears throat> like, I mean, this is the new idea. And I mean, is I mean, we will you know look in the future you know what will be the outcome if 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 this idea you know benefits the I mean the customers a lot or the or the companies a lot so I mean we will see you know if if this if this formula you know like benefits the customer a lot so I mean no doubt it would you know like take up you know and it would go famous you know. And uh, I mean, if if the customers, you know, like uh, don't see any, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, any change in the price, you know, like I said, you know, if if the if the price, you know, goes down, so I mean, the customers would like it. But if the prices are same or go up, so I mean, definitely, you know, like uh, uh, it, it's not going to work out. But like if the prices goes down and the people like it generally. So maybe the other major airlines would adopt this formula, but like I said, it's a new, I mean, new idea, and we will see, you know, the outcomes. You know, what would be the outcomes? The thing is, if it makes, for example, the airline more efficient, 
so yeah. they can um, sell the tickets at the right price. They don't care, for example, if they lose a little bit of money because they probably plan the fuel, uh, the right amount of fuel, and they can save costs. Yeah, so maybe they don't mind if the ticket price is low because, for example, like I said, Southwest Airlines, they operate their model is basically selling cheap fares. You know, they don't want to increase the fares. Um, and Ryanair in Europe, EasyJet in Europe, they they want to sell cheaper fares so more people fly. So maybe they don't mind if the the, the price is reduced. I'm not sure. Uh, but Sam, what do you say? And how is it where you are? Yeah. So um, are is it cheap to fly? Right here in Thailand. Yep. Uh, actually, there are both um, a cheap airline also and an expensive airline. Depends on where you want to go. Depends on how much money you got. You can choose. But actually, I still agree with this policy because, as I say, I can uh, like I can select to pay less or more. It depends on like my weight, my stuff. Like I can pay less if I like if I lose weight. I can pay less if I carry less stuff. All right. Mm -hmm. Then can lower my my my. Yeah, I agree that in terms of vacation, but not uh, the passenger weight. So the baggage. You're saying there should always be this distinction between a passenger and a bag. Yeah. yeah? So. You, yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, that's interesting. Yes, yeah? Sam. What do you say to this? Yes. Yeah? So ultimately, are they? Dehumanifying us, if that's a word, yeah. So making us, um, associating us with bags, yeah. So putting us in the same category. Yeah. What do you think, Sam? Sorry. Well, uh, so what do you think, yeah? So if Nukemar's point and some other people's point, I think Raphael made this point earlier, um, is that they were saying there should be always a distinction between a passenger and a bag and the way they're treated. If they're treated in the same way, then is this ethical? And does it matter about ethics? For example, um, I said about cheap airlines in Europe, Ryanair, for example, the customer service is crap, yeah, it's really bad, but I still fly with them because the tickets are cheap, yeah? So um, does it matter? Do we actually care how we're treated? And is customer service important when you travel, Sam? All right. Um, as I said, we can choose because there, there are like cheap and expensive airlines for us to choose if you want a better um, service quality, then just turn to the expensive airline. Um, if we want to pay less, then we have to, like, yeah, I mean, we can accept that. So it's, it's not going to be something that everyone's going to be happy with, but the people not happy with it, you're saying, yeah, you, you just go to like, another airline. Yeah, yeah. And Sometimes then, you, you may not be happy, but you pay less. Or if you want to be happy, then you pay more. That's what we can choose. So all the smaller people will go to the, this airline, or the other people will go to the other airline, which will make, in turn, the tickets for the other airline more probably more expensive, yeah, because the average passenger weight has gone up. I'm not sure, yeah. So it's an interesting model, I think. I don't, I don't know if it will work. Though. But yeah. Farhad, what would you say? Far, oh, Farhad, you've just joined us. Hello. Nice to speak with you. Yeah, again. yeah. How are you? Uh, yeah, 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 DJ, I'm, I'm doing well. What about you? I'm also not too bad, not too bad. Um, Far, have we spoke ages, well, a couple of days ago, yeah? So you haven't been for a couple of days. Where have you been? Yeah, teacher, I just installed a window to my PC, so I, I lost the page. I was so worried about this, but uh, today I just uh, joined it again. So I'm very happy to come here again because I was really uh, I was really worried about this. No worries, Farhad. Good to speak with you again. Did you understand what we were talking about? Did you watch the live stream, or would you like someone to summarize for you? Uh, could please, uh, teacher? Uh, I want to te summarize it for me. No worries. Okay, so we'll get who should we get? Tag read. Could you summarize, please? Uh, we are talking about uh, to weigh in uh, how the passengers pay for their weight in the airlines, and some agree and some of them disagree. But uh, if you are overweight, you have to pay more. Yeah. So uh, Farhad, what they're saying, uh, what we're talking about is there's a new policy with an airline in 
I don't know, it said American Sam. Does anyone know where Samoa is? Has anyone heard of this? Teacher, uh, teacher, I'm just, uh, I'm just listening a kind of echo, so uh, it is very difficult for me to... Okay, so uh, for you, you're saying you're against this. You don't think um, you should, if you weigh more, you should pay more. We should be treated all as humans, yeah, and as equal, yeah? Teacher, yeah, I'm listening a kind of equal, so uh, it's make me confused. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, an echo? Did you say? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Echo. echo. There is a little bit of an echo, isn't there? I think, yeah. But uh, okay. So, Farhad, what, what I was saying, uh, what um, what Tegrad was saying. Uh, Tegri, sorry, was saying is that basically there's an airline somewhere, Samoa, I'm not sure w where this is, um, they're basically going to now charge the passengers per, per kilogram rather than per seat. So if you weigh 100 kilograms, you will pay a different price in comparison with if you, were, uh, if you weighed um, 70 kilograms. Yeah? So the more you weigh, the more you pay. The less you weigh, the less you pay. Yes, yeah, so uh, did you well, understand? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so interesting. <laughs> because it is uh, just uh, um, those who have a uh, high weight, uh, their weight is uh, too much large. So it will be very difficult for him to um, fly in an aeroplane. Uh, uh, okay, so. And uh, 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 teacher, could you tell me that uh, where this policy is uh, adopted? Okay, I'll send you the article. I'll send you the article. You're interested, yes? <laughs> you, you're flying. Okay. okay. So it's like, it's like for me, it's like a fat tax, yes. Yeah? So um, and actually, some airlines have been criticised for wanting to do this in the past, um, but not to charge per kilogram. Um, the leader of this airline I was talking about earlier. Um, is is known for his controversial policies. Yes. Yeah? So, for example, um, all passengers. Um, he he wanted to make all passengers pay to use the toilet on the plane, or he wanted to make everyone stand up rather than sit down, so it saves room. Yeah. So, um, they are known for these kind of controversial policies. These kind of airlines. But um, you're saying that you think it's. Would you say it's a good idea or a bad idea, Farhad? I think that it is a good idea because my weight is uh, not too much uh, large. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I think that's common. Yeah. So if we don't weigh so much, then we like it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, okay, that's, <laughs> that's why I like it. <laughs> Mehmet has to go. Take care, Mehmet, and speak to you, speak to you soon. Okay. Speak to you soon. Okay. So uh, anyone else got an opinion on this? That who I haven't. I think I, I didn't say my opinion. You didn't, Igor. Yeah, yes, right. you didn't ask my opinion. You skipped sorry, me. Igor. Sorry, Igor. You sorry. ignored me. Yes. Calm down, calm down, man. Calm down. <laughs> uh, that um, it's fair because uh, if um, uh, if uh, but we uh, should see how uh, what weight is normal. So, uh, for example, if 50 kilograms or if 70 70 kilograms. So, what is overweight? And if it's overweight, they should pay more because uh, I understand that more f more fuel it's uh, um, uh, consumed. Correct? Yeah. More so fuel will be consumed. Yeah, it would be yes. More fuel will be consumed, so they should uh, pay for this. Uh, uh, more fuel. So, like, <laughs> we should have not a baggage allowance, but a people allowance. Yeah, so you can have 50 kilos, but anything else you have to pay an additional fee. Yeah, so no, over, if you're over this amount. Yeah, so because it works like this with the baggage at the moment. So if you you're allowed maybe 23 kilos or whatever, or depending on the airline. If you go over this amount, then you pay more. So would you say that this is a better idea, Igor, to allow everyone a certain amount of weight and then to charge maybe a fee if you weigh over this? Yeah, yes, I think uh, this is a better idea, but uh, uh, we should uh, look at that if uh, all airlines will implement this idea. So no only one, because if only one, uh, people, will, uh, people with overweight will skip uh, this airline. Okay, yeah, and, uh, but th this could be okay for the airline. Do you think? Sorry? 
But this could be okay for the airline because although they're getting uh, the the people that weigh less, they're getting less money. They're not paying so much in fuel, yeah. So, do you think the airline will care if the fat people go to a different airline? No, they will lose uh, customers because uh, in the price of uh, I think in price of um, ticket, it's included uh, not only the um, the price for fuel, but another um, exp uh, expenses, another what uh, cost? Yes, yeah, so another cost. Yes, so cost of uh, work of uh, that pilots uh, work of uh, who work on that plane who work on the ground uh, all kind of costs uh, um, well maybe they pay the staff based on how much the passengers weigh yeah so guys we had a good week you know everyone combined weighed 2000 kilograms or something have a bonus yeah i, I don't know yeah if that if that would work but so okay. if, if a company if um, uh, one company will implement is that company will lose customers that are overweight because they will uh, tend to go where it's cheaper. For example, if they will pay more than $20, uh, they will go where it's less, where it's uh, less expensive. And it depends but how many customers, how, how demanding the route is. Yeah? For example, uh, between London and Paris, maybe there's, there's a lot of airlines, so maybe they don't need to attract all the customers yeah, to still be successful. But if you're going between, I don't know, uh, Manchester and I don't know Aberdeen or something. Maybe the, the route's less busy. Yes. So I don't know. It depends on the on the route. I, I, I but mean. but also this will stimulate uh, customer that are overweight. Uh, will stimulate they to lose this weight or to think about it that if this is bad because if they go uh, to to fly uh, and they will pay for for example uh, to. to <laughs> 20 euros or dollars more, they will think uh, about it and maybe they will lose some weight. Yeah, some so it's, it's like, and you, you sit on the plane, you're comparing how much people paid, you're thinking, oh, he got a good deal, yeah, or, oh, bad luck, yeah, so I guess maybe, I don't know, there's an element of this. Amma has just joined, um, Amma, okay, so, uh, what do you think? Nice to speak with you. Can you hear us? Yes. Perfect. Cool. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. I hear you now. Perfect. Okay, so what do you think? I think it's uh, not a good idea. Because the weight don't affect so, so much. Okay, so you're saying it's a marketing strategy on their part, yeah? Basically, they're, they're trying to solve a problem that doesn't exist maybe to get more money, yeah? Because when the uh, the plane of flight, she lose so much weight when she fly because she uh, uh, maybe going uh, 1000 kk kilometer per hour, yeah. So actually it doesn't make so much of a difference, the weight. Yeah. So do you think this is discrimination? Amma. Do you think this is discrimination? What? Do you think this model is discrimination? Yeah. So if you weigh more, you pay more, and if you weigh less, you pay less. Does this discriminate people? Do you think? Yeah. Like uh, Raphael was saying earlier, we should deal with the people as people, not like baggage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you need uh, m m more m money. Uh, let the baggage uh, price high from before. Okay, so you should increase the baggage price, yeah. So not yeah. the, not the. Um, and it's but the thing is, um, it's very annoying, yeah. So um, I don't know. If, has anyone flown and had overweight baggage and you had to pay a really high fee, yeah. So um, has, uh, so Abdul, have you ever had this? Sense. Okay, and how does how much? Is the extra fee? Yeah. So if you if you go overweight, yeah. I mean I really don't remember, but like you know, I mean, like I not remember the average kg, you know, after when you exceed the limit. But I mean, I can tell you the price, like around uh, fifty to two hundred dollars. I mean, I paid that for like uh, uh, at least two three times. <laughs> Yeah, the thing is, it's a st it's a stress. I don't know what it's like if you go to an airport, but for me, this is the biggest stress because um, yeah. my scales.
scales never seem to correspond to the scales at the airline. And I always wonder if they've they've scammed it a bit, yeah? You know, they've maybe fixed the, the weight, so as I put it on, it always weighs over. Uh, exactly. And like, if, if your luggage is overweight, so it's like, like, you know, it's so much money. I don't know why they charge that much, you know, but it's like so much money. So actually, if you were obese or whatever, maybe you'll be happier paying the, the, the right amount up front so you know how much you're paying rather than yeah. getting the surprise at the airport, yeah? So you're still oh, yeah, going to pay don't, more. I mean, uh, yeah, in that case, if you pay by kg, so in that case, you don't need to worry about your weight. Uh, 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 that if, I mean, oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know about, you know, my luggage weight. Uh, if I go there, so I have to pay extra money. Oh, I have to carry, you know, that much money. So that way, if they ask me for the money, sure, I mean, I should give them the money. So, I mean, you don't need to worry about those stuffs. Yeah, that's right. Because it is a stress. It is a stress. We have Lily as well. Lily, can you hear yes. us? I'll just introduce her and then come back to you, Abdul. Because yes. I'll just introduce her very quickly. Lily, how are you? Good. We can't hear you. Uh, we'll come back to you. We we'll just let Abdul finish. We'll come back to you. Okay. Sorry, Abdul. Yeah. Just one question, not related to you know uh, what we you know talked right now. You used a word in. Uh, your conversation with Igor, uh, route, route right. from London to Paris. I mean, it, it's a route or it's a route. Route, route. Uh, it, maybe it's a different same pronunciation. Yeah, but route, route. So uh, the spelling is R O U T E, right? Yep. R U T E, route. Yeah. So we use here as a route. Okay. Route, route. <laughs> okay, <it> sounds good. <laughs> route. Oh my. Uh, oh, the route from California. California. Wow, cool, cool. Okay, so you say route, yeah? So we say, See, say route. Like, it's route. I mean, look, look, look at the difference. Like, if you use a color word in English, so I mean, you should specify the U. But if you use a color word, I mean, if somebody say color, so I mean, we not, we not specify U in the color word. But in this specific word, we specify U. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's the thing. Yeah, so route. Okay, that's, that's cool. Okay, Alice put Farhad uh, discriminate to treat people differently because of some differences. Um, oh, okay, Farhad asked this question. I forgot to answer. I did, didn't notice this. Um, okay, so uh, to treat people differently because, yeah, that's a perfect explanation, yeah? So uh, where you categorize people, you say, okay, he's British, that means he's this. Or he's, um, he weighs this much, that means he's this, yeah? So that's discrimination, yeah? Like prejudice, like prejudice, I guess. Okay, car shipping. Okay, so Alma, car shipping costs almost ten thousand dollars. Do they operate on a similar model? Do they operate based on weight or what? Have you tried to do this? <laughs> no, no. Some uh, s um, rich in Saudi Arabia, when they go to f France, they uh, they sh ship their car, but uh, not no normal car. Maybe. Lamborghini, Rolls Royce in, in London. Yeah, and it costs maybe ten thousand dollars. Or the thing is, I saw it in London. There was a man from Dubai. It seemed very, very. He had some kind of Bentley, but like with gold on it and everything. It's really with a Dubai number plate. And my first question was like, okay, so why pay all this money to ship it from Dubai to to the UK when he was probably there just for a business trip or something? Yeah, when he maybe could I don't know even buy a car there, sell it or something. But why do they do this, Emma? Yeah, so why do they ship the car even for a temporary amount of time? I it think cool, uh, yeah? they, so it looked, they need a Dubai number plate in London, but yeah, they need to. Uh, uh, let me see. They need to b brags or uh, like that. Show I have a car. Are you from Dubai? Have... Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my car is cool. Say. It was a convertible, it was in the suburb. He did look like he was enjoying this experience, yeah, going around central London. Yeah. The, he was looking around, yeah, yeah, so he did look like he was enjoying the experience. But anyway, okay, so guys, we've run out of time. I've got a class straight after if you want to join in, yeah? So, um, yeah, but good to meet new faces and things. Uh, Lily, I didn't have time to speak with you, but hopefully you can join the next class, okay? And we'll, we'll talk there. But take care, guys. Have a good day and speak to you very, very, very soon, okay? Thank See you. you. See you later. Bye-bye.